Bonjour, hello, welcome to Max Mountain World. Um, uh, <laughs> here we go. Wait till the noise stops. Right, just heading up now to the glacier de la Rose, which is the glacier above Les Deux Alpes. Now, I didn't make it last time I tried to come here three weeks ago. I got stuck in the snow on one of the mountain passes. So, uh, going up today and uh, yeah skiing this is the 18th of May it's a Saturday I'm told it's pretty quiet yeah okay uh, <laughs> so uh, yeah just uh, looking forward to uh, getting up and getting out on the planks again and another pile on another noise Okay, so here's the video for today. I wonder what's going on up there. Uh, a lot of ski schools, Italian ski schools and stuff. Uh, some pros, there's a lot of snowboarders, so I'm not too sure if the snow park is open. That could be interesting. So we'll go up and we'll see what we got. Just looking down to uh, Les Alpes, uh, Les Deux Alpes. There's a village, Mont de Long. Uh, further down to the left here is uh, uh, Venosque village 700 meters below Le Deuza, which is 1600 meters you can see some well, <laughs> you can see some of the construction that's going on there's a new cable car replacing this one and heading up uh, to the same place but they're replacing it as I say and what they're going to do is this is running normally instead of summertime this time it's running in springtime because the first week of July the end of the first week of July, they're going to decommission this and cut the cables. So we're just arriving up the first level here. Again, another pylon going up here. A huge project. Wow, that is massive. A lot of work going on. And this is going to be commissioned for this winter. It's going to be ready by the beginning of December. This looks perfectly skiable, but you'll be skiing down to nothing. So heading up now to the first point of the Jandri lift. But the Jandri lift over all the big valley here. You can see more pylons up there. And I don't know this time if I have to get out and get back in. Uh, I think it just goes straight through this time. So heading on up next, I'll be up the glacier. Hope you're not fear the heights. <laughs> Wow, you can see evidence of it, where the avalanches have happened after the season where the snow's got too heavy to support itself. A lot over there as well. Right, so I did have to get out and get back in again. It's a separate circle on the wire up here. So uh, beautiful here, but established also I can't ski back down to the halfway. So when I'm finished, this is coming back down. Again, pylons in construction. Pretty, the off-piece looks pretty neat, but you got to respect the guys that are working here as well. So, up the glacier, here we go. So looking back down, you can see one guy that's working away here. Don't know what he's digging out, but yeah, a lot of stuff going on. Except for where that's happening, the snow looks absolutely beautiful up here. You can see where he's made his way down. He's had to use his bucket to control himself. You can see the bucket marks. And there's another one up here, another new pile on. So these, as soon as the snow goes away, they've already carved out the roots for the lorries to come up here. So as soon as the snow's away, these will be finishing off and uh, arriving just right next to this one. So this is probably going to be my second last trip in this Jandri lift. Second last, the last one will be the trip back down. And then next season, catch the new one. All right, so the glacier awaits. A lot of people, a lot of snow, wow. And a lot of wind. A guy filming here, I don't know what. You, you film for who? Hello, Mo. Huh? Just for yourself? Hello, man. Okay, I do 
a little bit of YouTube. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. Nice camera, I like it. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, we shoot with uh, Salomon for um, Andy Tim. Okay, right, yeah. Like, look, this right foot. Yeah, yeah. It's not actually a foot. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I did a bit, I did done a couple of videos on the handy ski. All right. Um, uh, that's a brand new one. That's the first time the prototype uh, come out. So. Okay, so you've been video for it. Nice one. Look at this, it's crazy. Okay, <laughs> wow. That's impressive. Okay, thanks very much. Don't forget, Max Mountain World. <laughs> See ya, have a good day. Wow, that was a surprise. Okay, quite a lot of people about here, but not too many, though, spread out. The two ski toes for the the glacier, they're a bit busy, so I'm going to go down below it, down the run called uh, Signal. See how we get on down there. The snow is beautiful. So, here we go. Really nice. Oh yeah. Gotta do it. Oh yeah. <laughs> wow. Powwows. Over there, the whitest mountain, that's uh, that's Mont Blanc. Wow, so it's staying pretty clear so far. Light is good. I can see where people have done off-piste here. Not going to do that, too much risk. It's well marked off, crevasses and stuff. As the, uh, as the, the glacier warms up and melts and stuff, it can move. You can see the blowing snow over there. Right, but off the side here is, uh, wow. This is awesome. And we're down to the left at the bottom now. So that was the signal run and the glacier above to the left. Beautiful. Not many people down this bit. And the snow's lovely. So quick view check here, I'll come back to that. We're up the top of the signal lift. Bottom of the glacier's there and the top up there and there's a, actually a second glacier at the top. I think that's not open. The snow park's not open either. So it's skiing up there, skiing down here and uh, maybe just a little bit of off piece that I spotted on the way up there just now. So looking over, you can see the cloud cover over a lot of the mountains. Behind here is Alp Duez in the distance there is 
So the signal run here runs under the glacier, that's the run I just took. And this is a little run that curves around and goes back to it. Or I can go left. We'll go and check it out. It's nice. Very nice. Whoa. But it changed. Wow. I got very comfy. This has to be done. It'd be rude not to. Wow. <laughs> it's a little bit crusty, but it's nice. Really nice. Look, there's my marks. Head back to safe zone. Over the wire. A lot of people played here already. Very rough. A little bit of a ski view for the next bit. Take off. I'm going to tidy up over the side there though. The head over there. Head back to the pace now. Somehow. Where I've just been, there's loads of opportunities here, and it's safe. So this is the <laughs> the signal run again. This is the side of the glacier, and yeah, I'm going to head up there next. Going to head down, rejoin the signal run, and uh, get the signal chair back up, and then go up the glacier, and uh, we'll see what's up there in the lead out. So, a fantastic day. The middle of May, 18th of May. And fantastic snow. Just awesome. Okay, <laughs> let's go and see what it's like further up. At 3,400 metres up the top there. Okay, thanks for watching. These the ski schools doing their, their training. The speed that this guy's going at. That's how it's done. But they've not gone the left where I went. Whoa! That's a cold wind. Let's get the train. 
Ah, madame. Madame. Okay, so I'm the only one on the train. Well, apart from VIP. Madame Driver, I am <laughs> VIP. So uh, yeah, because that cold wind and stuff, I thought I'd warm up a bit and just head up the funicular train that goes underneath the glacier and pops out at the top. Halfway, you can tell, because there's the other train. Merci, madame chauffeuse. <laughs> okay, passing bon journée, bon courage. Oh. Here we go. Get the old planks on. <laughs> Untouched. Wow. Just behind that guy was where I had my radio gear. <laughs> Now, get back on the skis. Mont Blanc under cloud now. More cloud coming in. The top glacier up to 3,600 isn't open, but this is high enough. And on a view check, up do is over there. Wow. And I can just slot down here and over the side. With the wind behind me. Nice. Snow is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Wow. Deep at the sides. Ooh. <laughs> Whoa. Getting overtaken, but I'm not in a rush. I'm not doing that. You can hear the sound of the skis, the snow is awesome. It's blowing a bit on top as well. Absolutely fantastic. Time for a coffee! <laughs> Whoa, it's blowy as well. Tea bar time. Bonjour. Merci. Okay. <laughs> These tea bars can be awkward. But uh, they're more awkward when there's two of you. <laughs> One up. Yeah, no problem. You can see the cloud coming off the summit here. And over to the right there, if I swing the camera, seems to be a bit of 
snow parkiness are going check that one out a lot of snow you can see how deep it is at the side here that's awesome so yeah quite a lot of people over the snow park you can see all the jumps and stuff I'm not going over there I'll just make a nuisance of myself but you can see it absolutely beautiful a lot of folk doing it some massive jumps too and then these guys training like I say I'm not heading over by these guys <laughs> it's just so active over there I think there's a contest going on as well they got the music playing Head down here, there's nobody on it. Next stop, the coffee shop. Quick view check on the way. Just awesome. What a place. And Mont Blanc's still hidden in cloud. Whiz back round. And uh, this building's the new arrival point for the new cable car. So the skis have been fantastic today. That's their third outing with me, I do believe. So, bike's going a bit flat. That's the direction that weather's coming from. You can see what the weather's been doing recently with the, the icicles on the coffee shop there. Not many people left on the glacier sunshine across the other side have a little zoom in over there in the final wow and somewhere in the, the clouds there Mont Blanc tallest mountain in Europe for those that don't know 